I'm running out of time, every day goes by so fast And every moment counts, baby, I don't wanna miss a thing We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars Or hang out in hotel bars, driving somewhere in your car We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars Hey, sweetie, hi Hi, Mom Merry Christmas Merry Christmas. What are you doing today? Well, we just uh, opened presents and um, I actually just made us breakfast too. That whole time I was like, I thought I could pull that off, but uh, I was so close to saying like, see you. I was like, I need to get off this call because I am this close to like accidentally spilling the beans. my channel if you're new here welcome my name is Ashley I make tons of healthy lifestyle videos and I would love to have you join our little community here so welcome okay you guys so if you have seen the title of this video we're gonna do a little bit of a life update okay because <laughs> there's a lot that has gone down and I need to like chat with you guys about not only what's happened so far but now where we're headed in this new stage of life and that's why I took like a little like couple week break from YouTube because there is just so much going on. Oh my God, I just needed to like catch my breath. So I wanna give you a little bit of a life update, but also just a little bit of a health update and kind of what all of this is looking like right now in this new season of life, this new year, all of the things that have been happening that I just need to bring you up to speed on and make sure that we're on the same page moving forward because I'm gonna be sharing all of the things to come. So if you are new here, I'll bring you guys up to speed. The majority of my channel is healthy lifestyle content with a little bit of travel here and there. My boyfriend, Zach and I are actively traveling on what's called Adventures from A to Z, where we've been basically documenting our journey traveling from Airbnb to Airbnb all across the country, trying to figure out where we want to live one day and where we want to kind of settle down and take root. And on top of all of that, also sharing my health journey and also a little bit of Zach's as well. My health journey originally started just for weight loss strictly. I wanted to drop some weight. I've done all the diets. I've done all the things. And I was so frustrated with trying things that I was ready for actual health. And that's when Optavia really came into my life. So I started on my Optavia 5-in-1 plan. If you guys don't know what Optavia is, I'll go ahead and leave all of the information down in my description box below. Feel free to send questions my way. Basics of the Optavia 5-in-1 plan is you're gonna be consuming five fuelings a day and one lean and green meal a day. All of your fuelings are sent to you in your monthly box and your lean and green you prepare from home. All of your fuelings and your lean and greens are spaced out by two to three hour increments and that is what brings us into optimal weight during our optimal health phase. So welcome to another episode of my Schlee's Health Journey series. <laughs> transitioned over to my Optavia 4, 2, and 1 plan, and I have absolutely loved it, mainly because I really wanted to start focusing in on exercise and fitness into my health journey. So originally on the Optavia 5 and 1 plan, I was limiting exercise mainly because it's a pretty severe caloric deficit, and I didn't want to really start anything or ramp anything up while I was in the middle of that. But now that I've transitioned over to my Optavia 4, 2, and 1 plan, it was the right amount of calories for me to start implementing my own fitness routine, and I specifically started with Pilates. So I absolutely have loved Pilates thus far and you guys will see on my channel I've been documenting the whole way kind of what that's been looking like and really what it's been looking like to be implementing more food into my routine. But I'm here to basically share with you guys where I'm at right now and what's transpired over the last few weeks and what foot I want to start the new year on in my current health journey. So really quick I need to bring you up to speed on what's really gone down in the last few weeks and it's kind of crazy that we're even sitting here right now. I'm actually really proud of myself to be able to get on camera and talk with you about all of the things that have gone down because it's been that insane. Like it literally felt like we were in a movie and there was so much going on. I was like, is this real life? So here's a little bit of what's been going down. I don't want to bore you guys with all of the details or make you listen to a sob story, but I just can't make this stuff up. So really where all of this started was right on Christmas. <laughs> 
So specifically for Christmas this year, Zach and I wanted to travel back to Colorado and surprise my mom for Christmas. We wanted to go visit my mom because her health is not the greatest right now. And especially me being so far away from her, it's really hard for me to hear certain things happening in her health. And I mean, we knew we were gonna go into that, especially as we started traveling that, you know, things, you know, may happen in Colorado when we're not there and blah, blah, blah. Um, so we knew that we may have to travel back and forth and that's totally fine. Um, but with her specifically, it just is not in the greatest place. And I knew that Christmas, I mean, Christmas is the biggest deal for my mom and I, like we absolutely love it. And I definitely get that from her. And she'd been asking for months, are you gonna come be a part of Christmas with us this year? And I was like, no mom, we need to lay low. Like we got a lot of stuff going on, blah, blah, blah. And we actually told her that up until the actual day. But we decided a couple weeks before Christmas that we wanted to go surprise her in Colorado. And we did that. We actually flew into Colorado Christmas morning. We drove all the way to their house in a rental car and we surprised her through the back door while they were in Christmas jammies opening their presents. We literally came in through the back door through their house and surprised my mom on Christmas and it was priceless. Okay, so it was so much fun. I can't even believe we pulled that off. It was like my dad knew, my aunt knew, like only a few people like actually knew what was going on except my mom. And I just know that my mom, I'm, I'm an only child, you guys. Like I'm the only one that she's got. And I, and I just knew that it was absolutely gonna make her day. And it was the perfect way to have Christmas with my family. So it was so much fun. And we ended up booking our trip to stay there for about three to four days. And we already knew we were gonna be a little out of routine because we were in Denver and we were trying to celebrate with my parents and just kind of do all the things that they wanted to do. So we were like, okay, well, we'll just kind of put things on hold for a little bit. We, you know, weren't super active in our business, weren't super active in our health journeys. We just figured this time is for my mom and we want to make sure that it stays that way. So that's what we did. Lo and behold, four days afterwards, when we were actually supposed to fly back to Nashville, which is where we're currently living, we did not realize, and I should have known this from the jump, that the snow was going to be an issue, right? So the snow ended up being a giant issue for everybody traveling back home from Denver, Colorado. And the amount of flights that were canceled were absolutely crazy. We were currently flying on Frontier. I knew there was tons of flights that were canceled on Southwest. It was just a nightmare. And we were like, not only were we stressed about just all of the like arrangements we were gonna need to make if our flight was canceled, but it was also like we were heading into the biggest time of the year for our business. Optavia is such an incredible health plan and an incredible community. And any Anybody and everybody that was wanting to get started on their health plan for the new year and really run after their goals wanted to come be a part of our tribe during that week after Christmas. And there's actually this giant deal that's going on right now that they launched right after Christmas for everybody to get a discount when they first got on plan, which I'll talk to you guys about that a little bit later if that's something that you wanna take advantage of. But honestly, it was madness in our business. It was madness in our personal life because we were trying to figure out what the heck was gonna happen now that we were like trapped in Colorado and our flight was canceled. <laughs> We were scrambling. We ended up staying with my Aunt Pauline for the next four days because that was when the next flight was available. It actually was supposed to snow again on that same day, which was like absolutely horrendous. But it was a whole thing. We ended up needing to stick around for an additional four days in Colorado. And not only that, my Aunt Pauline did not have the greatest Wi-Fi. <laughs> so my entire business is virtual, meaning I can operate anywhere as long as I got Wi-Fi. <laughs> Right? And she did not have Wi-Fi to support us running our business. And I even tried to upgrade her Wi-Fi for her. I tried to handle it on our end and they just could not make it out until after we were already gonna be gone. So this whole four day period, we were trying to basically do everything we possibly could to still run our business, which meant, you know, going bouncing around from Starbucks to Starbucks to sit in their parking lot and use their Wi-Fi. We ended up actually going to Lifetime, the gym that we're a part of, and we actually got to use one of their private offices for about two days there. I don't know how we pulled that one off, but what was that guy's name? I don't know. I don't remember the manager's name over there. When I do look it up, I'll put his name at the bottom of the screen. If you guys are ever at the Lifetime in Denver, it was absolutely phenomenal how they really accommodated us. And they gave us an office to work in for two full days while we were trapped in Colorado. And I still got to get a lot of our business done and still got to really be a part of that. But it was really stressful. <laughs> and we were trying to figure out how to operate all of the things that were going on in the midst of no Wi-Fi, and also just trying to be really present with my parents because that was the reason that we went out there. So that was all going on. And on top of it, 
why not throw a huge wrench in our plans? If you guys did not already see my video that went live before this, you will know. Let me just quickly bring you up to speed. There was another huge thing that happened while we were out in Colorado, okay? What ended up happening on this four day stint of us actually being trapped there and our canceled flight was keeping us in Colorado was I really started thinking, okay, what is the reason behind us staying in Colorado? What are we gonna do to really make this worth the trip and it's really makes sense for us to be out here and what 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 is it gonna be and for us I told this whole story in the last video but for us that meant bringing a new member into the family because let's throw that on top of everything let me introduce you quickly if you haven't already seen the last video this is Lulu our new boxer puppy that we brought into the family in Denver Colorado she's sleeping right now so she looks a little drunk um, but this is Lulu she's absolutely our pride and joy we are so so lucky to have her in our life and this was a whole nother thing that happened while we were out in Denver, Colorado. I'm gonna put you back so you can go back to sleep. Yes. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let sleeping puppies lie, right? Um, so what ended up happening is in Denver specifically, every time we're there, we always stop by the same pet shop and it's because we know the owners, they take really good care of their puppies and we always stop by to see if they have a boxer and a boxer puppy has been on our vision board for years now. And honestly, it always just felt like it was never the right time for us to finally get a puppy and find bring a new little being into our life and I just kept going back and forth I'm like why are we in Colorado what are what are we doing and what is the reason behind this I mean obviously it was the snow but there's got to be some sort of a reason why we're stuck here and we had already previously a couple days gone to the same store where we go every single time to go check out if they had any boxers and they had one and it was a girl and in our plans we originally wanted a boy but they had one girl boxer puppy and we fell in love with her but we had already kind of like written it off like okay it's not the right time it's you know blah 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 and when we got stuck and our flight got canceled, I really started thinking, I was like, is this telling us that we should finally get a dog? <laughs> is this the sign that we needed to finally get a puppy? And lo and behold, we did. So really what it was, was honestly never gonna be perfect timing. That's kind of what we kept telling ourselves. In my opinion, cause we specifically knew that if we ever were gonna get a dog, it would probably be at that place in Colorado cause we loved it so much. They have such a great setup there and the owners are so sweet. We have several family dogs that have come from this place. It's just such a great vibe in there and none of the puppies are in cages. They're all out and about ready to play whenever you come and hang out with them. And we just always knew it was gonna be sometime in Colorado that we would bring home a dog. But we also knew, I don't know when I'm gonna be back out here, right? I don't have any plans to be back out here. I also felt like if we don't do it now, we're probably not gonna do it for another year. Like I really feel like in our talks of trying to bring a puppy into our life, it was just never gonna be the right time. There was always gonna be a reason for us to put it off and put it off and put it off. And in my brain, I was like, I really think this is why we're here in Colorado. We are meant to bring home our very own boxer puppy and her name is Lulu. And we absolutely love her. I cannot believe that was something we decided to throw in the mix, but we were committed, we were dedicated, and we were going to make it happen and we did. So we brought home Lulu, our brand new boxer puppy. And of course there was even more madness at the airport. At the airport, we showed up extra, extra early for our now rescheduled flight because we had no idea what it was gonna be like to take a brand brand new 10 week old boxer puppy on an airplane through the airport, through security, all those things. We were like, what are we doing? Like, are we crazy? I mean, I honestly, I really went through that a few times, but I was just committed. I was like, we're gonna make this work, okay? So that's really what happened. We ended up bringing Lulu all the way to the airport super early, trying to make sure we had all the things set. I actually had to lead two national Zoom calls from the airport while Zach was taking care of Lulu and she was like not potty trained and we didn't know what was gonna happen and all the things. And honestly, I don't know how we pulled that off, but we somehow did. I led my Zooms. I did everything I could to still be present in my business, even while we were at the airport. When it finally got time for us to board the plane, I mean, we were like trying to make sure she was taken care of. She had at least like pottied somewhere. Like we were trying to make sure that she hadn't eaten too much to where she wasn't gonna need to go. Like all of these things were happening. We finally board the plane. And when we get on the plane, everybody gets everything seated. Everybody gets their carry-ons on. We've got Lulu situated. We've got everything sorted to where we can be good on the plane, right? And we're stressed a little because we don't know what's gonna happen with a new puppy on an airplane, but we find a way to make it happen. Finally get settled. And then the airline crew comes over the speaker and says, we're gonna need to deplane. <laughs> we're like, what? Like, what are you talking about? We're gonna need to deplane because we don't know where our pilot is. <laughs> and we're like, 
I mean, I, and, and I mean, honestly, like if it was just us, this wouldn't have been that big of a deal. But in our brain, we're like, we just tired out this puppy. We just made sure she went to the bathroom. We don't know what we're supposed to do if we deplane and just like hang out waiting for the pilot. And that's what we had to do. So everybody got off the plane and we found every possible nook and cranny in the airport for an additional three hours trying to tire this puppy out and trying to like make sure she wasn't freaked out because she has no no idea where she is. She's just met us. Like we literally picked her up that day that we were supposed to fly out. She stayed at the shop while we were there just because we didn't have a place to bring her home, but we brought her home that day. And all of this was new. So it was a whole thing where our flight ended up being delayed by an additional three hours. We're trying to figure out what to do with the puppy. Luckily she stayed chill while we were actually in the plane, but she started getting a little restless there during that layover. It was just, she was not sure what the heck was going on. And that was the time to show it, right? So that was a whole shebang in itself. But we finally get into the plane. We finally fly home for a minute there. We almost didn't because the snow storm was starting to hit again. And all of us were like, oh my God, please let us go. <laughs> like we gotta go, like we got a dog here. Um, but we finally do end up getting home and we literally arrive home at three in the morning the next day, super, super late, but we're super pumped to bring home this puppy into our whole world of Zach and Ashley, right? So we, oh, <laughs> I can't make this up. I literally can't make this up. Okay, so what happened at three in the morning, we finally bring our puppy home in our truck and we, we make sure everything's good to go. We arrive home and I'm filming on my phone <laughs> I am filming on my phone Lulu entering our apartment for the first time because we're in an Airbnb in Nashville, Tennessee and it's an apartment and we're <laughs> I'm filming her walking into our apartment for the first time like welcome home Lulu like I hope you love it blah 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 we're walking in and we realize our entire apartment floor is covered in water <laughs> And not only that, the water smells terrible. I'm pretty sure has been sitting here since we left for Colorado, which was like seven days ago. And I immediately grab her up and I'm like, okay, guess we're not getting on the floor and it's three in the morning. And I'm like, what are we gonna do? Like I'm, I'm holding this brand new puppy who has no idea what's going on, hasn't eaten or drank anything in hours because we've been trying to figure out this plane thing and it's just, it was like a whole thing. So I'm holding her and Zach is like flipping out. He's like, what happened here? Like our entire apartment is flooded. We come to find out later on that the reason that our apartment is flooded is because the unit that's above us, all three of us, we're on the second floor, they're on the third floor, and then there's somebody below us on the first, all three apartments flooded because the unit above us, the washer was not set up right. So all three of us were out of town when this happened and all three of us came home after Christmas to a flooded apartment. And this was damaged, like really, really bad. We had leaks coming from everywhere in our ceiling. The floor was like completely moist, like it's been sitting there for a long time and it smells terrible. Like there's potentially mold, right? And I'm sitting here with this puppy like what are we gonna do like I don't I mean I know it's not perfect timing ever to bring home a puppy but like this was terrible timing <laughs> like I don't know I, all I knew was we were just trying to power through and make it work so I'm holding the puppy Zach's like cleaning up the entire apartment so that at least there's no water on the ground I'm on the phone with landing to try and figure out what the heck is going on can we get somebody out here to help us figure out how to handle this situation it's three in the morning and here we are okay so this flood turns everything upside down and when we finally get a hold of landing, like our puppy can't get on the floor. Like she will eat everything. She will consume mold. I don't know, like it's just not good. But I finally get a hold of landing and they let us know that the damage is so bad that there's potentially us needing to vacate the premises and find an entirely new apartment to live in for the duration of our stay because the damage is so bad. And I'm sitting here like, we have to move? We have to move with a brand new puppy not even potty trained, doesn't know what the heck's going on, freaked out, we have to move. Okay, let me, let me fast forward a little bit just so that you guys know we did not end up having to move. But for about three or four days there, we did think we were gonna have to move and we were actively trying to figure out where that was gonna be and how we were gonna get our stuff and how we we're gonna deal with all of this with a puppy and it was just like, what is going on? So long story short, this whole first week with Lou, 
sleep deprived, trying to figure out how we can make sure she's going outside for potty, trying to figure out how much food she's supposed to be having, trying to make sure that she doesn't destroy our entire apartment. All the while, while we have to also multiple days in a row be outside of the apartment and they end up repairing our entire ceiling. They had to completely rip it out and start over. They had to completely redo parts of our floor. Everything had to be completely repaired. We didn't end up having to move, thank God. But the whole time they were in here, we had to go do something to occupy our puppy and run our business and all the things, right? And I gotta tell you, successfully, we are here a week and a half in with Lulu right now. So my puppy is sleeping here perfectly adorable and being our little ray of sunshine, but I will say she does have her moments where she if she has witching hour multiple times a day. She's a puppy, not only a puppy, but she is a boxer puppy and she wants to eat everything. Not only that, wants to pee on everything and also poop on everything and all of the things. So multiple times during the week we had to find a place to just go be, Wi-Fi, all the things. And we had just come back from that situation in Denver where we also had to go find Wi-Fi everywhere that we went. But this time we were doing it with a puppy. <laughs> so anyway, here we are. We've got this brand new puppy. Okay, you guys. My camera died <laughs> and we got limited time left. So I'm gonna try and speed this up. Um, also, Lulu has moved to the couch. So uh, she's here ready to rock with us for the rest of the story. I'm gonna speed past and just basically wrap that up to say we have somehow survived the last week and a half with a brand new puppy and trying to figure out potty training, trying to figure out kennel crate training in an apartment, which is a whole other side of this that I was super not prepared for. But nonetheless, it has been absolute chaos. Now what I will say is we are still in an apartment, which is absolutely phenomenal. We didn't have to move. We did have a pretty quick turnaround as far as completely replacing the ceiling, the floor, everything. And I'm super, super grateful for that because oh my God, that would have been absolutely horrendous with a brand new puppy. But we are here and alive to tell the story of how we have somehow survived the last like two or three weeks. But Lulu's in a good spot. We're in a good spot. We're slowly understanding the whole peeing outside thing. It's great. It's just been so much chaos that I gotta be honest with you guys, my health really fell to the wayside. There has been so much going on and so much just realizing what it's like to be with another being for the first time and having to coordinate showers, coordinate sleep times, coordinate all these things that, I mean, I know I'm obviously not having a child right now, but I'm having a brand new puppy and my whole life has been turned upside down, that my health was just whenever and wherever. And I do not like that. I feel so out of routine. I feel puffy. I feel all of the things after Christmas and I feel like I haven't even really gotten to grasp the fact that it's a new year yet and that hurts my soul because my whole brand is around my health journey and especially during the new year I really want to focus in on my goals I really want to get intentional about what I want to accomplish in 2023 I've got lots of things that I want to do and I feel like I haven't even gotten to like soak that in yet I feel like my new year like just started like today <laughs> I feel like it's just been such chaos that I haven't even had a chance to breathe but what I'm basically telling you on this video today is where I'm at in my health and what I plan to do to at least make it from one step to the other. And I gotta tell you what I think that means for me right now is simplicity. I need something super, super easy, super simple for me to follow. So simple that even on these crazy, crazy days of us learning how to manage a new puppy and us learning how to manage our business in the craziest time of the year and all of these kinds of things, I just need easy, simple routine. And the best plan for that is a five and one. So I've been on my four, two and one for about six months or so. I believe, I think it's been about six months and I've absolutely loved it, but it is a lot of planning and coordinating. You guys will see as you get closer and closer to your goal and maintenance and all of the things, when you implement more food, it's not like you're going back to your old ways. You're implementing more food of the right kinds of food and it takes a lot of planning and prep, not to mention also keeping up with your fitness and making sure that you're getting a certain amount of calories done every day and making sure that you're actively on your fitness grind it is a lot and it's honestly a lot for me in this new stage of our life for me to be able to keep up with at least for the next like few weeks to a month is kind of where I'm at and five and one is just the speed for me right now so what I basically decided is even though my new year did not start out the way that I wanted it to and even though things have not been perfect I really feel like the best thing that I can possibly do when things feel super crazy and out of control is to take control of my health and rein it in get it super super simple 
control super right and tight so that I can start feeling a little bit better, so that I can start feeling less puffy, less gross, less all of the things, and really just move forward in our life in this new year and just move past this crazy season and keep it super simple. And that's gonna be a five in one. So what I wanted to tell you on this life update today is let you know where we've been, but also let you know from the relatable standpoint, I know how hard it is to keep track of your health goals when you're in a busy season. But I gotta tell you, the best thing that you can possibly do is just keep it super, super simple so that no matter what, your health is on track and you're moving forward towards your goals in a way that you don't even have to think about. And the five in one is the best way to do that. The five in one is five fuelings a day, meaning five meals a day, I don't have to think about it. I just go grab something and I put it in my mouth and I eat it. Camera just died again. <laughs> But what I was saying is five and one means five fuelings a day, meaning five of my meals during the day I do not have to think about. I literally just go grab something out of my pantry and I put it in my face and I eat it, right? I know that it's completely nutritionally sound. It's gonna help me get a little of this puppy holiday new year weight off because I've gained a couple pounds while I've been in this super out of structure. I just need simple and that's what this five and one is gonna be. The fuelings are super taken care of for me and honestly, I'm gonna be eating a lot of flavors of home lean and green meals. I've got a lot of those in my pantry. They are super simple. All I got to do is whip them out, microwave them for like 90 seconds and I'm done. And this is how I want to start my new year. It's not perfect. It's not ideal. It's not exactly what I was hoping for. I'm normally super intentional with what my new year is going to look like. I got my goals in place. I got everything that I want to accomplish. I've like got a really clear head on where I want to go. But with all of this craziness, it just did not feel like it got off to the right foot. But I'm here to let you know what I can control is what I can control in the five and one is the simplest possible interim plan for me right now. So what I plan to do is rock my five and one just for a few weeks, just so I can kind of get my footing again, just so I can start reining in what I really want to accomplish in this new year. And being on YouTube, I figure I might as well document it. That's where I'm at. So if you guys are ready to rock your new year's goals with me, or if you're just feeling the same exact thing, maybe it hasn't been the start to the new year that you were hoping for, and maybe it hasn't looked perfect, but you just, okay, this uh, video has literally died like three times while I'm trying to finish it. But what I'm trying to get at is if you are really ready to rock towards your 2023 goals, or if you're going through the same moment as me, where maybe this new year has not gotten according to plan, or maybe it didn't start off the way that you wanted to, or whatever the thing is, I'm here to tell you that it doesn't always look perfect. It's never gonna look perfect. And all you can do is control the things that you can control. And if you have a really, really simple plan, whether that's opt to be a five and one or not, whatever the plan is, keep it as simple and easy as possible because that is what I can commit to right now. And that's what I'm gonna do. So for the next few weeks, I'm gonna bring the camera along. I'm gonna make sure that I'm documenting my getting back into structure for the new year. I will transition back to my four, two and one because I really do wanna get back into my Pilates routine as well. I will bring the camera along for every step of the way. And I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a life update so that you're in the loop, you're aware of what's going on, and no matter what, we can be headed towards our goals for the new year together. I'm so excited to bring you guys along for the adventures. 2023 is going to be absolutely epic. I just got to get my life back on track a little bit. Lulu is in the picture now, and there are so many more adventures to come with her as well. I cannot wait to share them all with you, and I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a life update so that we can do it together. If you guys like this video, please like the video down below, as well as subscribe to my channel. Tick that notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload and tons of daily videos to come as I reactivate my five and one for a kickstart to the new year. I cannot wait to continue with you. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.